Hello again. We're still with matrices, and this time we're working with scalar uh, in terms of matrices. Scalar multiplication just means you multiply each term by what's in front, the, the um, um, coefficient, I guess, if you want to compare it to that. So I've got this matrix where it's a 2 by 3, it's 2 rows by 3 columns, and it's good to emphasize that over and over again, uh, especially to your students, because if you don't, uh, when you get to real multiplication of matrices, it's just difficult. Uh, we want to find 3 times this matrix. So I want to find uh, this matrix right here. We'll, we'll see how to do it. So basically all you do is you take 3 and then you multiply it by A. And A happens to be the matrix, uh, the 2 by 3 matrix, I should say. 2, 8, 5, 3, negative 2, 1. Okay, here's how you do it. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. Actually, you should probably go in that order, but it doesn't really matter. 3 times 8 is 24. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, 3 times 5 is 15, 3 times 1 is 3. Bam! That's my answer. Right there. That's all you do. I should probably check to make sure that I got it right. 6, 24, 15, yep. 9, negative 6, 3. Finito. That's it. That's your new answer. It's still a 2 by 3 matrix, except it had a 3 multiplied in every term. Now let's do something a little bit more difficult where I've got these two matrices. They're both 2 by 2s. Uh, 2, 1, 0, negative 2, negative 3, 1, 4, 0. I'll write that up there. I hope you can see it. Hopefully I left myself uh, some room for that. And I want to basically find 4 times this matrix subtracted by 2 times that matrix. So I'll go ahead and write this intermediate step. I probably usually wouldn't, but you know it doesn't hurt right now. So it's 4 times this the first matrix, 2, 1, 0, negative 2, subtracted by 2 times the matrix. And here we go. 8, 0, 4, negative 8. That's what happens when I take the scalar 4 and multiply by everything. And now, um, it depends what you want to do here. You can make this an addition problem and multiply the negative 2 in, or you can keep it as a subtraction and just multiply the two. It doesn't really matter. Uh, let me explain that again because some people might not get that. I can take negative two and multiply it in and it'll become addition of whatever this is. Or I can just multiply the two and subtract whatever is left over. Um, for my sake, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add whatever this outcome is. So I'm gonna actually multiply the negative two in because I just don't wanna worry about it later. Negative two times negative three is six. Negative 8, negative 2, 0. So I go ahead and I add those matrices together. 8 plus 6 is 14. Uh, 4 plus negative 2 is 2. 0 plus negative 8 is negative 8. Negative 8 plus 0, ooh, that's kind of coincidental. 14, 2, negative 8, negative 8. That's a 2 by 3 matrix, so that looks right. Let me just double check that really quickly. That should be 8, 4, 0, negative 8, bam. Uh, 6, negative 2, negative 8, 0. Everything else works out. So that's how you do scalar. So we've added, we've subtracted, we've done scalar. Now we're going to get to multiplication, uh, which isn't fun for students. It's just not. Uh, that's my preface to it. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, keep a positive attitude. It won't be that bad if you just, you know, keep a positive attitude about it. Okay, until then, have a great day. Goodbye.